In 5145, the TARDIS rerouted a phone call for the doctor from Winston Churchill to River Stormcage Cell. Using hallucinogenic lipstick on her guard, she escaped to warn the doctor of a prophecy of the TARDIS exploding. She blackmailed a time agent's vortex manipulator off Doria Maldivar and stole a Vincent van Gogh painting from Liz 10 showing the TARDIS exploding in space-time coordinates. She graffitied a diamond cliff at the dawn of time with the coordinates, then traveled to England in 102 AD to meet the 11th Doctor and Amy, posing as Cleopatra in order to blend in with the Roman garrison stationed there. The Pandorica lay under Stonehenge, transmitting a signal to summon an alliance of the Doctor's enemies. The Doctor got them to back off and sent River to fetch the TARDIS. Instead, it took her to Amy's house on 26 June 2010. When River told him the date, the Doctor realized the TARDIS was about to explode and told her to escape. TV. The Pandorica opens. Unable to leave. She was trapped in a time loop of the first moments of the explosion. TV. The Pandorica opens, the Big Bang. The doctor rescued her in 1996, told her his plan to use the Pandorica's restoration field to reverse the total event collapse of the universe and was shot by a stone Dalek. River told the Dalek to look in its data banks for her, taunted it into begging for mercy, then killed it. After the doctor had rebooted the universe by erasing himself, River left her now blank diary at her parents' wedding so Amy could remember him back into existence. After a brief conversation about her marital status and identity, River told the doctor he was going to find out very soon, and left him wondering. TV, The Big Bang. 